Hello there, Purple Banditos, and welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. I'm Purple Rodri. Today we're going to begin my favorite adventure, my favorite game of all time, and I'm very excited to get this going. Now, before we get this started, as you can see, yeah, my face is going to be joining us along the way. Uh, you know, I thought if it's a very facey game, a lot of masks, a lot of things, so I thought I would share my expression, especially since this is even the first time I'm booting this game up. I want to be able to share my experiences with you guys, and for you to be able to see all my reactions that I'm pretty much gonna have to this game now before we go any further I'm actually gonna be doing a bit of a giveaway I'm gonna be giving away two copies of the game recently I've had a lot of people tweet at me and tell me that they want to play along so I'm gonna be giving away two copies all you have to do is like this video be subscribed and just leave a comment I will be picking the two winners on part five which should be up later this week so with that we are ready to get this started so what do you say we begin our adventure in Termina here we go guys I'm actually really, really excited to get this going. Now, tap to enter a name. As usual, I am just going to go ahead and put in my name very quickly. Uh, as you can see, my 3DS is right here, for those of you wondering how I do this. And I guess I have to type it in manually. Let me go ahead and type in... Nope, not not, not that. I have uh, big, big fingers. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and put in Rodri. And with that, we are ready to begin our adventure. And I'm just looking forward to seeing all this. I mean, I have no idea what's coming. Well, I, I do know what's coming. I just don't really know what is all going to happen here and how different it's going to look and all these sorts of things. So it's going to be pretty exciting. So let's go ahead and get this going. Uh, I don't have the new 3DS, you know, the new one that just came out with the extra joypad. So here we go. In the land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend, a legend held dearly by the royal family about a boy. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that had made him a legend. Done with the battles he once waged across time, he embarked on a journey, a secret and personal journey. A journey in search of a beloved and invaluable friend. A friend with whom he parted ways when he finally fulfilled his heroic destiny and took his place among legends. Wow, this is so cool. Like, look how this looks. I'm just so excited to get this going. If you don't know who the friend is, by the way, We'll, we'll talk more about it as we get going. I have a lot of crazy uh, info about this game, a lot of adventures, uh, a lot of stories that I hold deep down that I can't wait to be able to share with you guys. And it is just so amazing to me to be able to see this game, uh, you know, come to life in, in such a way. I love Majora's Mask probably more than any other game. As I mentioned before to you guys, because of the characters, uh, because of the story, because of the bosses, the masks, just every little thing. Uh, and it's so crazy to just think about it and to, to see this forest and just see how much different it has changed this game came out in 2000 and just seeing the difference now it just it honestly amazes me and makes me really happy that i'm gonna have the chance to share this with you guys and whoa what could be going on here i'm not really sure i, I actually am i am pretty sure what's going on and right in front of us is majora's mask okay so right off the bat we're gonna see it uh, and if you guys don't know, this is the Skull Kid right here. He! You two fairies did great! I wonder if he has anything good on him! Huh? This guy? Well, that shouldn't be a problem! It must be weird for you guys, like, seeing me actually make the voices now with my face. Uh, but I think it's gonna be fun. Wait till I start making crazier voices. I probably make a lot weirder reactions and weird facial expressions, uh, as we get going. And uh, this little guy seems to be mugging us, though. And whoa, why does the Ocarina look purple? Oh, what a pretty ocarina. Hey, school kid, let me touch it. I want to see. What the heck? How come it, how about, it looks purple? That's weird. You can't tell. What would we do if you dropped it and broke it? No way you can't touch it. Ah, but sis, why can't I try it out too? That's really uh, different. I expected it to look a little more blue, like an ocarina of time, but I guess they changed it a little bit, and they made it look a little more purple. I don't mind. I love the color purple, uh, so we'll see how it goes. Dude, I know you're hiding it. I mean, you're not a sneaky fellow. I'm pretty sure we're watching you doing this right now. Uh, but hey, if you have ever ridden a horse, you're going to know that this isn't safe. Uh, don't cling to a horse and do that. I've actually, I'll tell you guys a little story once we actually land about horses and uh, one of my first experiences with them. Uh, because it actually brings me back to this game. Uh, wow, so here we go. This is where, uh, this is really going to start. We're going to start taking over and it is an absolutely exciting time. What do you guys say we go ahead and take control of Link and truly begin our adventure here in this mysterious land? All right, Link, get up, man. Time to get up. Let's get this going. 
I want to get the show on the road, my man. All right, guys, with that, we have took control of Link, and we have took our first step into Majora's Mask. As I mentioned to you guys before, now, especially if you look around this area, right, uh, I guess they kind of dropped us off in a closed-off area, which is a little bit different, but the forest we were riding through, uh, it actually reminds me of when I was a kid. So I was probably like 10 years old. Uh, let's read the sign now. Let's check it out. So you may already know this, but here's a quick review of the basic controls. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, so I was like about 10 years old, I would say, uh, when I first took a trip. It was like a graduation trip that I did. Uh, and I took it to Georgia with my buddy Jacob. Uh, now this graduation trip, you know, we were gonna go and go to Six Flags in Georgia and ride horses and all these crazy things. And you know, that little area we just went through with just the beginning of this game actually reminds me of that time when, you know, I had the chance to ride a horse. I think it was my first time riding a horse and I rode it through a dark forest, kind of like this one. Um, and it was beautiful, you know, we crossed rivers and, and we went fast and it was just such a beautiful time. And the beginning of this game really brings me back to some of those memories. What's with that stupid horse ears? It doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. There's no point in writing a thing like that. So I did you a favor and got rid of it, hee <laughs> hee. Ah, boohoo, why the sad face? I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come now, do you really think you'd beat me as I am now, fool? Uh, I don't know, man, you look pretty scary. I don't think I would mess with someone that has a face like that. I think, um, I think I'll chill. I think I'll take it easy. You know, just drink a cold pop and uh, just be on my way. I'll just climb back out. Uh, no big deal, my man. No big deal. Uh, but hey, it looks like something is happening to us. I wonder what it could be. Uh-oh. I don't know. I feel like we're going to be in some trouble here. Oh, there we have it. We're getting surrounded by Dekus. And this is where it all begins. Oh, my goodness. So many... Weird and crazy memories are flowing back to me right now. Oh, this is just amazing. I'm so excited to actually do this. Uh, I just can't wait to actually, uh, once we get the adventure going, we actually start, you know, getting to some challenges. And as you can see, it looks like we have transformed and we don't look like a human anymore. Uh, we actually look a little bit different. We have been transformed into a Deku by the power of Majora's Mask. Hee <laughs> hee, now that's good luck for you. You'll stay here looking that way forever. Uh, nah, man. I think, I think we'll climb out. I, I think, I think we'll be okay. So, with that, guys, let's go ahead and, uh, get this going, then, and see what exactly happens. It looks like one of the fairies stayed back with us, so that's nice. Uh, goodbye, little purple fairy! Bye-bye. Uh, I guess we're stuck here with this one. See you later, uh, alligator. Whoa, whoa! Skull Kid, wait for me! I'm still here! Tao, you can't leave without me! Well, I guess one of the fairies is going to be stuck with us along this adventure. And I don't mind that one bit. You! If I wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have gotten separated from my brother. Well, don't just sit there, Deku boy. Do something. Why are you looking at me like that? What? Is there something stuck on my face? Will you stop staring at me and just open that door? All right, guys. Let's go ahead and open the door. And as I was saying, to finish up the story, uh, you know, I had the chance to ride horses in Georgia. And I feel like that's one of the biggest, you know, connecting factors I have. Uh, you know, one of the first factors I have that brings me back to this game and that truly makes it my favorite. Uh, just, you know, having the opportunity to ride a horse through a nice dark forest and, you know, explore all these different little hidden areas. It was just such a blast. So the first time I had, you know, the chance to really play Majora's Mask, it just really brought me back to that moment. And I was like, wow, I really do feel like I can connect with this game. Oh, uh, and also the painful moment where you don't want to hold on to a horse. Uh, one of the things I actually did was I had a boy horse. Its name was Cinder, and uh, you know it started following this girl horse, and I actually lost control of it. So before I knew it, it actually like runs into this tree branch and uh, just knocks me in the stomach, and like the horse is just going, and I'm just sitting here like just stuck on this tree branch, and it was really really painful. So if you've ever had an accident on a horse, it sucks. Uh, so you know, take it easy, be careful, uh, don't do any dumb things, and. Uh, you know, hope for the best. Hope that your horses don't mess up like mine did. I wonder what's going to be over here. Give me some money. Money, 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 money. We got the Deku Nut. All right, guys. So the Deku Nut is going to be the first item that we actually obtain here. And uh, that is fine by me. Fine by me. All right, man. You guys think I can make it? I could probably make it, right? All right. I, I could get pretty ballsy here and just start going for, like, little crazy tricks and all that sort. But you know what? I'm going to take it nice and slow. 
uh, and just hope that we can make these jumps. All right, we got it. We got it. We got it. I didn't remember how long the distance is uh, because, uh, you know, I don't know if they really changed things here in Majora's Mask. But with that, let's talk to Tattle. There you go. See, you can do it if you try. When I fly over to people or objects, use L to look at them so you can interact with them. Use L targeting. Okay, so it's L targeting here. Uh, you know, fun fact for you guys. I actually, I've, I've played Ocarina enough time for the 3DS, but I never really got crazy far. I don't think I ever beat it on there, but uh, I've definitely beat both these games a lot. And look at the face of that. Uh, does that look similar to anyone? I don't know. It looks a little bit strange, doesn't it? It's strange, but the way you look right now sort of reminds you of this tree. It looks all dark and gloomy, almost like you can start crying any second now. How sad. Uh, and it truly does look like us, which is kind of scary, kind of ominous. But I'm just going to keep on going because I'm not really sure uh, what else it could be. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is going on here? My head's tripping out. My head's tripping. Oh, oh I, I can't turn that whole way. I, I can't 360 twist it as much as I would like. But with that, we have closed the doors to that beautiful forest. And we won't be seeing that forest ever again. Or at least for a very, very long time, which is kind of kind of sad where are we exactly it seems like we have arrived oh well what the heck when they add this hi there i'm a sheikah stone too soon kid way too soon your journey's barely even started go on get out of here scoot go have some big adventures if you get stumped come see me i'll be happy to help that's pretty neat they just added that uh they didn't have that before which is really really cool but what do you say we make our way outside you've met with a terrible fate haven't you oh what a famous line that is I own the Happy Mask Shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am at a loss, and now I've found you. Now don't think me rude, but I've been following you. For I know of a way to return you to your former self. If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. In exchange, all I ask is that you also get back my precious mask that the imp stole from me. What? Is it not a simple task? Why does someone like you should by no means be a difficult task? Except, the one thing is, I'm a very busy fellow, and I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I would be if you could bring it back to me before my time here is up. <laughs> but yes, you'll be fine. I see you are young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Oh, and one more thing. Please be so kind as to direct your gaze over there for a moment. Okay, so I guess they've added in a little dialogue about the Sheikah Stones. That strange stone over there, do you see it? It's called a Sheikah Stone. When the world has weighed you down with worry, crawl inside and let it show you the way. If everyone you find yourself lost on your grand adventure, seek the counsel of this wide old stone. It will surely help you on your noble quest. Very, very cool that they've added that. Well then, I am counting on you. Well guys, it looks like he is counting on us to make our way out of here. But next time we will continue from this point, I will be heading outside just to see where exactly it is we have ended up because here on now we will be continuing our adventure from this point it is dawn of the first day 72 hours remain guys and we are here in south clock town in the land of termina it is a beautiful place where our adventure will begin and i cannot wait to begin this journey alongside you guys as i mentioned before i will be giving out two copies of this game leave a comment and uh, maybe you'll win. At part five, I will be telling you guys who has won it. Uh, the two of you that are lucky. He gives me the creeps. That mask salesman was the... Sorry, just thinking aloud. But three days, even if we never sleep, that still leaves us with us measly 72 hours. Talk about demanding. Well, don't just stand there. We're going to see the great fairy. Look, you want to find the skull kid, don't you? The great fairy will know what he's up to. She watches over everything. And just between you and me, the skull kid is no match for the great fairy. I'm pretty sure the great fairy lives in a shrine somewhere here in town. Where? Well, somewhere. Don't press me for details. I don't come to this town very often. You can try talking to one of those kids who hang out around town. One of them might know where the shrine is. Next time, guys, we begin our search for the Great Fairy. 72 hours remain. Make sure to give this video a like if you've enjoyed it. Come on. Let's have a little fun with it. And I can't wait to begin this adventure with you guys. It looks like our guy's stretching. And I will be too because the journey is just beginning. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any tips or just want to tell me some fun facts, let me know. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.